Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Scum Single Player episode. So, I said we were going to do Stalker today. Today is Friday. I th I genuinely thought I was going to do Stalker today, but I ran into a couple of problems with Stalker. Not that I've deleted the save or the save has been corrupted or anything like that. The game itself is just a little bit pernickety. Now, I need to go away and fix it. However, because I'm kind of stuck for time on recording Stalker right now, because in about an hour or two, I'm about to go to the gym. I know my whole channel is now li literally me talking about the gym, but I thought it would be a good idea to get back onto Scum. Now, I did do a little bit of looking and it turns out that my settings were a little bit, um, a little bit tamed down. So, uh, I started up the game. I've been sat here for about two, two, three minutes. And as you can quite clearly tell in the background, just beyond me, there are quite a lot of puppets. In fact, you can hear one just to my left. Now, I have scaled them up a little bit. Things are a little bit more dangerous. Things are a little bit more toxic. And overall, these things can kill me quite easily. You guys all know this. So, today, we're going to go to the gymnasium. That was my original plan. However, I might not make it there. <laughs> I might not make it to the gymnasium. But... We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, there's no... Okay, there are puppets behind me. So we are going to have to be very, very careful right now. So, puppet there. Puppet there. Puppets there. You can see them all. You can see them all. I just hope that they don't spot me. Because if they spot me, I'm dead. So, you can't really see where they are. There's one. There's two. And there's one right there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go around them. That's probably the smart idea. So I am going to opt out from going straight over to them and essentially walking straight into them. So I'm going to go this way. And hopefully we don't run into any problems. There's four right there. There's one there and there's two there and there's one right there. Oh golly, this is a lot of puppets. Right, I'm going to take my time here. I've made this super toxic. I've made this more toxic than I thought I, would, I was going to make it. So we're just going to be careful here. I'm going to be careful about everything that I do today. Because <laughs> I don't want to shoot my gun. That's the last thing that I want to do. So, as I said, our objective is the gymnasium. But we are going to take a complete detour... And we're going to go a direction that doesn't quite make sense to a lot of people. Um, I could just simply run through the city. I could just do that. I could uh, alert an entire horde and, you know, make it a little bit more spicy. But I'm going to go through here. I would like to go in here, but I would like to go to the gymnasium today. That is my, uh, my go-to today. My go-to today is the gymnasium. That is my target. More food. We need more food. We require the food. There's a little magnifying glass. We'll take that because we can make a repair kit from that. If we find ourselves a little bit of thread. Uh, there's a nice little axe, actually. I could make use of that. But we've also got the chainsaw back at home, so we don't have to worry about that. That's a good find. I need that. I'm just going to pick and choose like the containers that I'm going to be going through today. I'm not going to be overly possessive with the containers today um mainly because i've got a limited space this backpack has a very limited space and i don't want to be filling it up too much so let's let's zonk you and zonk you now he should he shouldn't he shouldn't fall aggro onto me he will though that guy will most certainly fall aggro onto me. There's another one here. Nice. Nice. I'm quite happy that I've got two bow silencers on this. Because it's the, the, the ping that alerts the puppets. Right, now we can start moving in. It's also getting a little bit dark. Not because it's night time, but because... In fact, what time is it in-game right now? Check the time. Oh, it's currently... Oh, seven minutes past six in the evening. Okay, that's all right. That's fine. We can make we can we can deal with that. 
It won't get it won't get dark until the later half of eight o'clock in game. So that's about mm, thirty minutes, thirty to forty minutes away. So we should be all right. We should be we should be perfectly fine for seeing things. I mean, the sun is still out. It's still in the sky there. It's right there. That is the sun there. I'll burn my corneas out. Zap. Right. For those... For those wondering what I'm going to be doing at the gym today, or tonight, sorry, I'm going to be doing my pull night. So, lateral pull downs. Um, what else is there? Bench row. No, eh... Uh, Essentially pulling a weight, but using the kind of bent, the uh, the rowing technique. I can't remember what it's called. I'm trying to be as quiet as possible. I love the ragdolling in this game. Also, did everybody see the coins that we're going to be getting for uh, for questing? These, I think these are going to be achievements. I genuinely think these are going to be achievements because... Let me put a picture up on screen right now. Um... You can see that they've got like 1, 5, 10, 20, etc. These must be achievement tokens. And these tokens must be redeemed for something. So, I'm quite interested to see what they're doing with the quest system. It's actually a very, a very interesting thing to see right now. Because they've not spoken a lot about the quest system. And what it's actually going to detail. I'm actually going to take that because that's actually quite a useful item. Eh... Uh, Ooh, I'm actually... I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. Oh. oh, shit, I missed. Didn't miss that one. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Quiet. Quiet, quiet, quiet. We need to be quiet. This this whole mission right now is dependent on me being as stealthy as possible. Not making as much noise, trying to stay out of line of sight of puppets that might... Oh, holy shit in hell! Not good. Don't make a rag rope. There we go. Rag doll in effect. Love it. Oh my days. Oh shh. Ah, 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 ah. No talking. No talking. No talking. No talking. No talking. Banned. Talking banned. Talking is banned. Is hereby banned by me. No more speaking. No more No more of the speaky speakies. No more of the talky talkies. Oh my days. There's a lot of puppets. I need to get all my arrows back because these arrows here, these broadhead arrows are essentially one-shot killing weapons. They're, they're such beautiful instruments of death. I love them dearly, but my days do you have to use quite a few of them to deal with a lot of puppets. <laughs> that goes without saying. There we go. Back to a reasonable amount. Right, now that we've reached the gymnasium, we need to be... Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to go this way instead. I'm going to go around this direction. The only reason for this, and it's it's for it's for my underst oh shit, I'm gonna have to take these out. Shit I missed. Got him. Right. The reason why I'm going around this direction is because I know where to run to, I know where to go. If I want to avoid these guys. Is there any puppets down that way? I need to be very wary of the uh very wary of these um these bushes right here. Right, I'm not gonna bother killing her. 
she's not worth the effort to go back down to collect the arrows. So what I'm going to do is just use my parkour skills. Vault over things. Okay. As you can see, I am moving... I am moving almost vertically right now. I am... I am making sure that... In fact, I'm going to double check and make sure that my... Uh, my area for escape is is valid and very much is very much here. So I'm gonna open this door, walk through. I'm actually gonna put that shama on. I'm gonna open that door, or sorry, close it and then open it again. What I'm essentially going to be do oh, I might not be able to do it th on that one. I might have to do it on on this one. There we go. So I should be able to do it here. Oh, maybe not. Can I do it here? Can I do it here? Yes, I can do it here. So, this is what I'm going to be doing, essentially. If if uh, if push comes to shove, and I get attacked by a horde of puppets, I'm going to have to jump up here. This is my safe point. Nothing can kill me here apart from a suicide puppet, <laughs> and I don't want to be triggering them anytime soon. Oh shit! No! 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 Quiet, quiet, no alerting the horde, no alerting the horde, <sighs> we can't be doing that right now, we're in a very tight spot, okay, now that I have a window, I have a window of opportunity, let's rattle through all of these, see what we can find, if we can find anything relatively good, uh, we will go for it, there's a, f oh I might actually take that because that's quite useful, I will eventually make use of this flare gun. It will come in handy when I, de when I come to deal with uh, sentries and the fact that we now have... We have natural spawning hordes in general now, as opposed to just a couple, like maybe one, two puppets here and there. We now have fully... Fully spawning, uh, fully spawning hordes now that just appear. Oh, that as well. There was a nice little sight right there. Let me just show you the benefit of using a, a pair of binos now. Hold right click in, use your mouse wheel forward, and it's got a couple of variables. So, that's perfect. I'm going to get back to my bow because uh, I don't want to die. I don't want to get killed here. I, do, I certainly don't want to be limping at this point. Not in this area. Oh! That! Mm-hmm. Right, we need to find 45, because I've got I've got a magazine for it. And that's perfect too. I'm not gonna bother taking that because I've got a combat helmet on. And there's a 9mm right there. <laughs> oh, I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it. I'm not gonna take it. I am, however, going to take the uh, the UMP. So UMP in my hands, put that on there. Put Oh, I just got an alert from Steam. Oh, Generation Zero is downloaded. That's not... Well, oh, to hell with it. Hint, hint, we're, we're going to be playing Generation Zero at some point. Hint, hint, we're going to be playing Generation Zero at some point. It's a game that I, I played before. I wasn't a big fan of it, but it seems how it's been updated and new things have happened to it. I'm going to be playing it. So, there is that. So, look forward to that. So, Rieger, if you're watching, if you're listening... And Lars, if you're watching and listening, we're going to be playing it. We were going to be playing it on the channel, so that's something to look forward to. Anyway, we now have a full clip, or a full magazine, for the UMP-45. We can start loading this into this, and we now have a functional gun with a red dot sight, and a, a, a light that doesn't work because we don't have a battery for it. So I'm just going to put that there. Just for right now, 9mm can stay with me. Um, I'm actually going to drop that 9mm magazine because I'm not particularly fussed about uh, 9mm magazines right now. I'd rather have the ammunition for a MP5. I'd like to fill out MP5 magazines rather than a like standard handgun 9mm stuff. I'm not going to bother with that flash grenade because there's no one here to flash. Don't take that out of context. Birdshot, not, not even worth. Birdshot is good for one thing. It's good for shooting down goat one, Tommy. 
that's a that's a channel joke right there. If you if if, if you've been watching the channel a good while, you know who you'll know who Tommy is. You'll know what he does. You'll understand why shooting down his plane. That's a good find. An EMP grenade, electromagnetic pulse grenade. What a beauty of a thing to find. Forty five ACP, armor piercing. There's exactly what I. Oh, I've already got one. I've already got one, but you know what I will do? Wait, is it is it damaged? <gasps> repair. Repair right now. Repair right now. We're not going to bother with this one, but we're certainly going to bother with this. A little Mark 5000 uh, little blade. I'll be having you. Thank you very much. Right. Rattle through the rest of these boxes right here. I need to keep my head on a swivel as well. The puppets will be spawning back in momentarily. And they will be spawning in a great number. <laughs> They'll be spawning in greater numbers than before. So I need to be very careful. Now that I've got two magazines for the UMP-45, I've got the firepower to deal with a lot of puppets. But obviously you guys understand that firing a weapon into a horde only triggers another horde. So... My my aim now is to try and to get a 45 ACP silencer or a 45 silencer or suppressor, whatever, whatever. Whatever one you want to use, you can use whatever one you want to use. But I'm just going to say silencer because it is a silencer, okay? Uh, 357 Magnum, should I take it? I should take that 357 Magnum because I did get uh, a Deagle in the previous episode, I believe. I dropped off a D. I th it was either a Deagle 357 or it was a Deagle 50 Action Express. I can't remember which one it was, so I'm just going to take it anyway. Right, rattling through the rest of these. Guava fruit we'll take. There's a bag. I could make use of that. I could indeed make use of that. That would be a very handy thing to have right now. Ooh, lovely. Another red dot sight, or a blue dot sight. That's what we need. More arrows. More arrows is always welcome. More 45s, always welcome as well. AKS 74U, Meg. That's a good find. Rope. Rope is a perfect thing to find in this game. Saves you making tree bark ropes, improvised ropes out of rags and strips and stuff like that. It's just a good thing to have overall. Good thing to use on all your crafting stuff as well. Uh, I'm going to take that can of juice because that can of juice will get me a grill. And I would love a grill at home. I'd like to start making some food back at the base. What do we have here? Not anything that I want. Canteen? Do we have a canteen? We don't have a canteen. Uh, we are now sorted for our water. For a, for a container. Oh, yes! Aim, po aim pro red dot red dot site aim pro red dot site one of my favorite red dot sites in this game it's it's not it's not anything fancy it's not a fancy um it's not a fancy site but it is a nice looking site it makes your gun look uh makes your gun look good do i have a jacket on i don't have a jacket on so we'll just put that on that's even more storage space and we're looking a little bit more tactical now I would prefer to have some camouflage. Raise beanie, a wee bit of good luck, which means this next container is gonna hold nothing. <laughs> Sorry, Ray. Oh, there's another bag and another raise beanie. Let's uh, let's see what we've got here. A baseball bat. Thread, good find. And a rag. Okay. Now that I've gone through everything here, pretty much, it's time to vamus. Not really, actually. That's a lie. I'm, 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 I'm telling a pack of lies. I'm not leaving. I'm not, not completely leaving the city just yet. I will be making my way... Ugh. Ah, uh, quiet. Quiet. Silence. I told you. I told you guys. <laughs> Broadheads do the work. <laughs> they really do the work. Right. What I was about to say was I was going to go down to the police station, but that seems like a shit. What the fuck is going on over there? What's happening to you? Did you fall into the 
<laughs> Did you fall into the concrete when they were pouring it, you fool? <laughs> oh, what a joke. What a laugh. Oh, all right. That's fine. Um, there are a few other places that I can go here. I do have some space left. I do have space left in my tactical jacket. Um, I might consider go trying to find an ATM. Hold on a second. Isn't there an ATM against this wall? Or d No, there's an ATM down there somewhere. Oh, it's right. It's there. It's there. It's down there. There, it's there. There's an ATM right there. I'm kind of, I'm kind of not inclined to go over there though because that's a kill zone. That area right there with all the trees around it, that is a very, very, very dangerous spot to go into. Uh, not for the sake of like other players, but for the sake of puppet spawning. This area right here is just a huge open playground for any puppets that want to spawn in like that. Look at the stay of that! I'm just going to walk here. I'm not going to do any sudden movements. I'm going to try and stay out of their line of sight. I'm going to try and get to that ATM. As I said, I'm, I'm, I'm against doing this. That's why I'm moving incredibly slow. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not feeling like getting my horde stuck on me right now. There's the ATM right there. This also just so happens to be a convenience store. It's not a convenience store. This is the postal area. This is the post office. Right. Let's see if we can use this ATM. Uh, I want to use that. My number is that. I want to deposit. Deposit money. Two, two, seven. Submit. Yes. No. Eject card. Escape. We've got $215 now. We input $227. However, this thing has a fee for uh, for the amount of money that you put into it. So, I put 227 in, and it took $12 off of me, which is perfectly fine. I'm not too fussed about that. But now, what that gives me is more money to get to that fuel station. That is the reason why I used that. I need the fuel for the car. <laughs> oh, shit. They just spawned around me. Now, I know a lot of people don't like that, but I have really... I have really pushed the, uh, the spawn rates up here. Oh, don't aggro. I had to get rid of him. I had to get rid of him. He was a liability. This one right here, a liability. I'm going to try and stay away from the shops as well. Because the shops are just... It's like... You'd think being near something like this would be relatively safe, but it's not. It's not safe at all. Stay away from the shop, stay in the middle of the road as much as possible. Look at the state of that! There's a puppet on the other side of this, uh, this fence gate here. Again, I don't normally, I don't normally play. Oh my god, that's a lot of them. I'm just going to, I'm going to choose not to shoot them. Again. The reason why my game is like this is because I've made it this way. It, it forces me to play in a completely different manner. A lot of people that play on official servers and private servers that have got maybe puppets down low, but they hit like absolute Mack trucks. Um, that's probably the best way to play it. There's some more 9mm. Nice. Uh, that's probably the best way to play it. This, however, I'm not saying don't play it this way, but this this way will force you to play the game a completely different way. It will force you into being more stealthy, more camouflaged, making use of things. Ha, oh, banana! 
I need to eat, eat one of them before I go to the gym, actually. <laughs> that's my, that's my, um, that's my thing that I do. <gasps> tea. I like tea. I love tea. Oh, this tea's so good. Right, trying not to open a lot of doors as well. And trying not to make too much noise. As I said, cranking the puppets up like this forces you to play in a style that's more stealthy, a wee bit more reserved. Less gung-ho. Picking and choosing when to shoot, where to shoot. And certainly what ones to kill. He's turning. I need to kill him. When they turn like that, and if you don't get them in if you don't get them in a one-shot kill, you need to kill them immediately. The likelihood of them calling in a horde is very high, so you need to dispatch them quickly. Look. I mean, look. One. Two. Th th four. Five. There's probably more behind me now. This this is why I like the way I've set this up now. If, if Again, I've said I've, I'm going to repeat myself, and you're probably tired of it, but I, I don't give a shit at this point. It forces you to be stealthy. It, it forces you to use the mechanics of the game. Hiding in bushes, breaking line of sight, being as stealthy as physically possible. And trying also to like take out the ones that you know will be a problem. And maybe choosing not to kill the ones that are, may may that are maybe just not in your way. And by... Hold on. There was a wee bit, a wee bit of staggered there. They're about to spawn in. They're about to spawn in around me. I need to be careful of these buildings. Right. I'm on my way back to my car. That's that's where I'm going right now. I'm going to fill up the car with as much fuel as my, uh, as my bank account will allow me to, to fill it with. Which is only uh, $215, but that's okay. That's totally fine. That will get me out of here. And that will get me comf comfortably, possibly, into... Uh, back into Charlie 3. Maybe even back home. I'm gonna stop for a second because I know something bad's about to happen. You know that way when you're gut, you kinda, you're like... Something, something's not right here. So, for any players that are, that are maybe considering playing my settings... When you're running around the like you're running around the place like this, or maybe doing the same thing as I'm doing, being as stealthy as possible, these things right here, they're your lifeline. Those things right there are your lifeline. If you have the speed to get to them, if you have the endurance to reach them, and you have the speed to get up those ladders, use them. Right. There's a lot of puppets on my right, so I'm going to stick to my left and take out this one. She's not dead. I killed her before the ring out started. If she completed that ring out, even though you heard the echo, uh, those guys over there would have, uh, they would have been like, Oh, what she, what's she screaming about? I'm gonna go over there and investigate. So, you need, you need to kill them quick. You need to remove them quickly. Be wary of these buildings as well. These look safe, they are not safe. If you're playing my settings, these are death traps. Okay, we're almost back at the car. We're almost there. I'm keeping my eyes fixated on the bushes. The reason for it is because, if you've seen before, they kind of like to appear in the bushes early on. And then you walk into them, and then that's it. Like that. She's behind that bush. I know for a fact she's behind that bush. In fact, you can see, you can just make her out. <laughs> right. I need to. I need to quickly pee. I need to quickly pee. 
Right, here we go. Cool. Relieving myself, because right now I would be pissing my pants too, with the amount of puppets that are kind of cutting about the place. <laughs> get, get, get the bow back out. Right, is she going to turn? Is she going to do a 180? She is going to do a 180, so I'm going to try and keep out of her line of sight. I have to move in the direction she's moving, though. I might have to take it. I might have to take it out. Dead. Right. Retrieve the arrow. And keep moving. Arrow retrieved. Right. C where can you see the puppets? Right now, where can you see the puppet? Because I can see them right now. I can see them moving. In fact, I can see two puppets moving. There he's there. And there's one right there. And there's two to my left. In fact, there's one. There's three there. Right, we're moving. <laughs> we're moving. Whereabouts are we? Right, we are we are almost back at the fuel station. Dink. Absolutely dinked. What a dork. Continue moving. We're at a light jog now. I think I can almost make out the uh, the fuel station from here. We're getting there. We just have to cross one more little bri one more bridge, and then that's us. Slowly as we go. Again, make use of the bushes. There she's there. Remove her. Remove him. We're trying to be as quiet as possible about everything here. Right. I shouldn't be in their line of sight. I'm going to get as close as I can before I can get this arrow and back away. Fuel station is very, very close. What we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing as we did before. We're going to do a wide sweep. That wide sweep will allow me to see what's actually at the fuel station. And it also gives me a little... Uh, Gives me a little defence point, because what can happen is, when the puppets start to aggro on me, they will jump into this canal. This right here is a canal. You can see it right here. There it is. I'm going to make use of this. This is going to be a defend point for me. Unless they spawn behind me, otherwise I'm, I'm totally, abs I'm absolutely snookered. Lucky I hurt her. There's one right in front of me. In fact, there's two in front of me. I need to take them both out. Dead. Dead. There's some that have spawned inside that compound. I don't have to worry about them. They'll be relatively confused as, as to where I actually am. And now we can keep moving again. <laughs> A lot of people are probably going to ask me, Why are you doing this to yourself? Because it's fun. I think. I think it's fun. Right. This is where things can go completely tits up. My, my goal is to make it to the roof of the gas station. My goal is the roof of the gas station. If I can get there, I can survey the grounds and then see what I can do from there. I might create a little bit of noise here. Right, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Right. Do I have anything to create a distraction with? I 
do not have anything to create a distraction with. I should have got those flares. I should have got the flares. Right. What we'll do is we'll start off with the ones closest to us. There's one actually closer than she thinks. I think she's underneath me. Otherwise, it's her that's making all the noise. Right. Having a last little nosy. Uh, oh boy, that's a lot of them right there. Right, this is where my car is. I'm right, I'm right above it. I'm right above my car. There's my car there. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna waste these arrows. I'm not gonna bother getting them. I'm not gonna bother retrieving them. She isn't aggroed, that's good. And I'm gonna fill with fuel. Shit. This is fine. Move him around here. If I can just get him to move. I believe he's stuck. Thank you. He didn't call the horde. He did, however, see me or he heard me. Which is totally fine. The car is fueled. All of the money has been spent, so we can start thinking about leaving now. So, let's have a little look-see. Are we clear? We are clear. Put away your weapon first to get into the car quicker. And... We're out of here. We're out of here. Let's leave the city. <laughs> Let's go. We did it. We did it. That was a that, that was that was relatively good. That was relatively well played. I didn't sustain any damage. We got some fuel for the car. And we're we're charging the battery and we're we're now at 105 kilometers per hour. So we're going to be totally fine. I think we're going to be fine from here on out. What we're going to do is we're going to head back into Charlie 3. What I will do is I'll stop in the town before the uh, the main town. This little uh, kind of river town over here. This one right here in front of me. We'll stop over there. Have a little look around for maybe ingredients to make some food. Um Maybe look for some extra cash. Maybe kill a couple of puppets. Right. What we'll do is we'll stop on this side of the... Uh, on this side of the uh, the river. Right. Let's have a little... See what I mean? See what I mean? Ambush! Ambush! Hey, pal. Bonk! Get suckered. There we go. Perfecto. Right, let's see what's going on in here. A watering can. A lighter. What else have we got? I'm going to take the... Oh, apple seeds. That's kind of good. Oh, there's one thing I didn't do. I didn't put away all my new loot. Let's uh, let's play this safe, shall we? Let's play let's play everything safe right here. Let's just do this. Let's just get all of this into that. Let's get it all in this box, and let's just forget that it's even in there. Because <laughs> that's that is genuinely what happens to me sometimes when I play this game. I genuinely do forget that I've got things in particular boxes. Um, I'm gonna keep the um, yeah, I'm gonna keep the 45 ACP on me. I'm gonna put away. Oh. I thought I heard uh, footsteps there. Got a little bit, <laughs> got a little bit shaky. I was like, hmm? <laughs> who, who goes there? <laughs> Put away the nine millimeter and we'll keep that, uh, 
the little screwdriver out, shall we? We'll put this away, though. We'll put away these. I don't think I'm going to get hit today. Uh, oh, I forgot about the uh, the magazines. I forgot all about the magazines, and I forgot all about the red dots. And the fact that I have multiple compasses of the same sort <laughs> on my character. That's, uh, that's a little bit silly. Right. Now we can put it away. Right, let's have a wee nosy. Let's have a little look. Let's have a little look, see what we can find. She's in that bush, isn't she? Oh, she's, she's there. Well, she's currently, you know, looking at a tree. We'll, we'll let her look at that tree. You know, we'll let her look at that tree. But she can stare at that tree. I'm not too fussed about that. I'm not too threatened by that. There's a nice jock. Oh, there's a there's a look right there. A jock, jock jacket, and a very nice set of a. Uh, what color are they? What color is that? Is that orange? Is that orange? Is that faded orange? Oh no, there is actually one right there. Get dinked, loser. If I walk into here, yep, she's dead. She's dead and gone. Oh. I didn't think she was that close. I'm actually... Uh, I'm actually getting a little bit of deja vu. Not deja vu, but a little bit of nostalgia. Uh, back in 0.75, I played this game and I was playing on a, I was playing on a multiplayer server with a couple of friends who wanted to get introduced to, um, to Scum. And we ran through this particular, you know, this little, this little, uh, this little bed of like cucumbers and onions and stuff like that. And one of my pals stumbled, uh, stumbled across a, a landmine. It didn't blow up. He didn't walk over it. Like, he legit didn't walk over it. He stopped before he could walk over it. And he was like, Fido, what is that? Because when armed mines are on the ground, you can't actually see them. They don't show up in your vicinity. If they're not armed, uh, if they're unarmed, you can see them because they're just a placed item. But when they're armed, you cannot see them. And he's like, what's that? Why can I not pick that up? Can I go near that? And I was like, well, what are you talking about? There's, there's, there's a dinner plate on the ground. I kind of want to pick it up. And I was like, there's a dinner plate on the ground. There's a dinner plate on the ground. And he's like... Yeah, it's not a dinner plate, man. That's not a dinner plate. Uh, what is it then? What do you think? It's spherical. It's in the ground. You can't pick it up. What do you think it is? Uh, it's a landmine. Oh, hello. It's a landmine. And it's like... Ah, oh, so don't touch it. Mm -hmm. Of course don't touch it! Of course don't touch it, you crazy man! You absolute psycho! Oh just 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 remembering that that uh, that situation, I was just like There's a dinner plate on the ground. <laughs> Can I pick it up please? Why would you want to pick up a dinner plate anyway? It's not as if it's, it's not as if we can eat off plates in this game. What a fud! What an absolute fud! But at the same time, it was funny. <laughs> it's funny, like see after you know that way where you you do something really stupid or you say something really stupid, and then later on you're like, yeah, it was really funny actually. <laughs> like Billy Connolly does a does a good way of putting it. It's like, you, like your pals like. Closing the door and and he's closing the door of the car and almost taking your fingers off and like all your fi your fingers could have literally been rolling down the street and <laughs> I mean later on you just go oh that was pretty funny actually <laughs> there's a nice bulletproof vest for me <laughs> oh it's it's I'll, I again one of one of my favourite comedians of all time Billy Conley. Not because he's from Glasgow, not because he's from Massey. 
but he's just, he's just funny. He just I you know, mean he reminisces on things that are like, oh yeah, that that, that kind of happens to me as well. I suppose that's everybody, like every comedian, but he does it in a really, I don't know, special way, because uh, the things he experienced, I also experienced, <laughs> growing up and stuff like that. So I don't know. It, it, it hits it hits home. It hits home. Right now that we have a whole bunch of X, is that a fruit fly? Why is there a fruit fly in my my room? Why are you? Why do you exist? It's not the it is not the season for you. Go away. <laughs> I hate fruit flies. Ironically, I do have fruit in my room. Well, not I don't have fruit in my room, but I was eating a banana earlier and I discarded the uh, the skins inside uh, in a bin that I have in my room because I everybody has to have a bin in the room because it just makes sense. You know what I mean? Right. Bloody fruit flies just completely took me by took me by surprise. Don't forget about the box. Right, last little bit of uh, of searching here. Last little bit of searching here. I'm gonna go into the pharmacy, and I'm gonna go into this little uh, supermarché supermarket. If you didn't know, well, it's a little supermarket. Through here, there's a couple of lockers. It's usually, usually you'll find a bag in here, or usually you'll find like some half decent clothing. Go around here, search that box. A knife. Oh, I've already searched this. I think. Yep, I already searched this from the episode before or the episode prior, so we're just gonna avoid this and instead go into the pharmacy that has an overgrown bush at the front of it. Isopropyl alcohol. That's what we need. Thank you. I need that. More thread. We are always welcoming thread in this in this uh, this series. More rag strips. We'll take those and we'll take that. Those scissors, those plastic scissors, do come in handy sometimes. If you don't have the metal ones, use the plastic ones. They do come in handy. More screwdrivers. Right, upstairs. I would like some antibiotics, please. I would like, well, batteries is also something that I need, but I need some antibiotics. Emergency bandage, getting close. Let's check these little cardboard boxes. A rag, no. A rag strip. Metal scissors. A rag strip. Hospital pants. Yawn. A glass tumbler. Uh, painkillers, not antibiotics, but painkillers are also good too. Right, have a little look through this little building right here. Is there anybody home? There shouldn't be. Well, I mean, if there was someone home, I would, they would have been aggroed by now. Onion. A cooking pot. Uh, search the mattress for some cash. No cash. A uh, pair of jeans. I'll take the jeans. I'll take those. Uh, last little place I'll search around is these buildings right here. More so this building than that building. Don't ask why. Just this building has more containers in it. Yoink. Yoink. Oh, yoinky yoink. This is a pretty good building. <laughs> If you need if you needed clothing, if I was in a multiplayer server right now and I needed clothing, oh golly, I'd be set. I'd be pretty much geared to go. All I need is a bag. Okay, that's not a bag, but I could make a bag from it. Pirate hat. Sugar. I don't need a lot of sugar now. <gasps> corn. Corn on the cob. And a parsnip. We'll take it. Right, we're full. We're full. The backpack is full. I'm gonna take it back to the car and we're gonna unload it all. Unload all of it. Right. Perfect. Right, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's going to be it for me today because I'm going to need to go to the gym uh, in like 45 minutes. So I need to get myself all prepped and prepped. So I shall see you all another time. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you have, leave a thumbs up on this video. Tell me what you think in the comments below. 
Are you guys hyped about the coins? I'm kind of hyped about what the uh, the mission system's going to be like. It's going to be a very, very cool feature to this game, and it's probably going to prolong the game, at least the PvE elements to it, a little bit longer. And I'm all about prolonging PvE and prolonging the longevity of this game, especially when it's uh, especially when we don't wipe. You know what I mean? If the if the need for a wipe arises, it should be after like several months of usage. Does that make sense? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you've been watching this series and you've still not subscribed, please consider subscribing, ring the little bell, you stay up to date with videos just like this, as well as a Sunday night live stream, which starts between 6 and 7pm UK. We go for about 3-4 hours playing Scum, a variety of other survival games and a variety of other different genre games, as well as some Warhammer 40k painting. I always love to see new people in the chat, love chatting to new folk, it's always very interesting to see their stories and hear about what they're doing in this world because it's mental. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go away and get myself ready to uh, to tear some muscle fibres. I hope you all have a lovely day, whatever you're doing. As always, I've been Mr. Feudal. I'll see you all another time.